Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. Okay, in this lesson we're going to be talking about bay windows. When I first started using Chief Architect windows, the bay window was the one that was, yeah, I guess it'd say the hardest one to learn out of all their windows. So I'm going to show you some of the basic tricks and tips we can do to make your bay window great. So we go to the window tab, drop down, choose the bay window. All these tips and tricks work with the box and the bow window options. So click on bay and go ahead and place it in your plan. You'll notice it gives you some dimensions and shows you the bay window. Let's go ahead and look at this in 3D so while we're doing this we can see exactly what's happening. So I'll do a little split screen. There we go. And I'm going to move in. The first thing I'm going to do after I place my bay window is figure out what width and height I want to make it. So I'm going to stretch this guy to say 8 feet. And I'll notice that it only stretched the front panel. It left the 245 same sides, you know, relatively shy and small. So what we want to do is we want to make it more accurate. So I'm going to click on the 2D, zoom in, select the bay window again, and use this grab handle that's on the big window to drag it forward. Uh, drag it to about there. And I'll notice my windows are starting to take shape and get bigger, which is great. Also open up the dialog box and I have options here to change things. Like I can use the existing roof or extend the original. I can suppress dimensions and labels. Why don't we do that? And then I don't want to put any framing between the components. In between here, I want these to all collide and be one piece, just like most bay windows are. So I'm going to put check mark in there, no framing. I can also have the components recessed into the stucco, but I'm just going to leave it as is because I'm, I'm liking all these settings and click OK. And there we go. The only thing wrong about this particular bay window is I need to manipulate these windows individually because they're wrong. You're not going to have a double hung like this and like that. and That's just silly. So I can either select it in the two-dimensional view or the 3D view. It doesn't really matter which. But once you select it, you want to put your cursor over the window you want to start to manipulate. And you can either hit Tab on your keyboard or hit this Next button. So I'm going to hit Next, and now I've selected it. Now let's do this in the 3D view now so we can see what ha what's happening. I click, I get the whole bay window, I hit next and it finds the first window that I had my cursor over. And so now with that selected I can open it. I'm going to change it to a fixed glass and I'm going to change the height to say 54. Not that high. <laughs> 54 inches. Uh, I'm going to go over here to lintel. So yeah, we'll leave everything else the same. Click OK. Then I want to select that window, hit tab, grabbed it, open it up, 54, bada boom, bada bang, and let's make this a uh, single casement. And you know what else we should do is we should make the lights because most bay windows have lights. Click OK. So I need to go back to this middle one, hit tab, open it up, go to my lights tab, 4 and 4, and I'm hitting 4 and it tabbing down to the next line, hitting 4, click OK. Then I'm going to just rotate it around a bit. Get my cursor on that third one, click Next, click Open, and 54 is the magic number, and it's going to be a single casement, and lights, 4 and 4, whoop, excuse me, 2 and 4, because it's a side light. Okay, there we go. Now, I'll notice from my example that my molding's overlapping a bit of my casing. And that's something you can mess with on your casing, get it smaller, bigger, however you'd like. But the real cool thing about this is, now that it's built and it's still one piece, you can easily manipulate the bay window to fit all different kinds of scenarios. For instance, I can select the bay window and I can pull it up and leave the base low. I can pull it down, leave the base high, put a little roof over it. Put a little detail below it, whichever I'd like. I'm going to go back both times, and I'm going to select this wall, this wall that's uh, got the bay window in it. Open it up, and I'm going to go to the wall type definitions, and I'm going to check pony wall, which will put a brick wall below. And notice what Chief does, it wraps the brick right on around. So that's kind of cool. Works perfectly. Quick and fast, Chief uses it all as one piece, which is nice. Uh, then let's select this bad boy and let's pull him down and let's pull it up again. Why not? And we can see it still has the same properties and works great. We can also do the roof deal. Let's go ahead and go to our roof tab 
and I'm going to build a roof and click OK. And it builds a roof over the bay window as well as over the house. Now there's different things we can do if we notice in that dialog box that uh, we can change. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go to my roof tab, build roofs, and click auto rebuild roofs because I want to do it automatically to show you what's going on. So I'm going to click this, open it up, and I'm going to say use existing roof. And Chief will take this uh, roof and just use it as existing so you can stretch it over, do whatever you think is needed. Okay, what other options are there? If I open it up, I can also do extend roof over. Click OK. And it should be... What's happening here? Do, 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 do. Auto rebuild roofs was turned on there. And there, it extends the roof over. So you can kind of see what's going on. You have these different options. Rectangular roof over. Yep, you could do that. Or you could uncheck the extend roof over and just do a rectangular roof. If you wanted that, some crazy option. Um, what I find useful is I'll remove uh, all the roofs. I'll let it just generate the normal way. And then I'm going to take this auto roof off. And I'm going to zoom in here and just make some modifications. I'm going to, I don't want such a large overhang. Let's say I pull it back a bit. Take the roof there. I'm also going to take all these other roofs real quick just so we see if they're not in the way. And I'm going to lift them up a bit. Whoops, I did the wrong thing there. Let's do roof tool. Select and grab those three roofs as well as hold down shift and get that one and use my Z Delta I'm gonna bring it up about eight inches or so just so it's a little bit higher okay now back to these guys I'm gonna select these three around the window so I'm holding down shift as I select them all click open and in the general tab I'm gonna do a curve roof and I'm gonna curve it about 12 let's say click OK it just gives a little bit more definition little better design as well as what we can do now is we could take the spray can and we can go to Chief's um, built-in library of materials under I believe their roofs if you were to go to metal single seam we can grab a color that might be close to copper and just apply it it gives it a little bit nicer look and a little bit more detailed look and you know makes it all look raw as rain it does and I'm just gonna paint these outside case moldings the same color as that interior so it's all kind of white and the same and there there goes what we're after and that's building bay windows here at chieftutor.com and remember those same rules apply to messing with the bow window and the box window they all have those same capabilities just keep in mind hitting tab on the keyboard to select your individual window and manipulate it the way you want to manipulate it. you can also check chieftalk.com I started um, a free symbol a week uh, thing under the symbols and contents and I have uh, one of the bay window lids as well as the bottom piece that you can download for free and use it in your Chief program. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you again soon.